Good morning, everyone. It's day 57. Seven. Um, yeah, we did our 26 yesterday. My body feels just like it would feel after a 17. I'm so thankful. Yeah. Um, today we only have seven. We're meeting Bubba, who's going to pick us up um, and take us to a grocery store and then into the Big Walker Motel. In the, for town, the night. in the town of Bland. In the town of Bland. And then we head out tomorrow morning. Ooh, yep. we got to set that up too. Yeah. We can do it, Bubba. <laughs> right now we're at 585. We'll go to 592 miles um, this afternoon. Then we'll get out. It's supposed to rain all day. So luckily it held off um, until this morning, until about 730. So we're able to pack up the tent. Tent was soaked. But we're still able to pack it up, so that'll be dry in the hotel tonight. Anything Woo! else? Not that I know of. All right, see you on trail. See you on trail. Wow, there are so many campsites right as you start. And this one actually has a picnic table. That's crazy. Calling for rain all day into tomorrow morning. Hope it's just like this. Light drizzle. It'd be nice. 6.2 to US 52. That's where we're going. Just another video of Purple Haze walking in the woods with the rain. So today's going to be another day of very little pictures and video from me because my hands are already wet and therefore the phone is wet because I keep trying to pull the phone out in the rain and whatever. Wow, look out there. That is so beautiful. It's finally clearing, but we're still in the fog and in the rain. But my phone's working right now because my thumb's not so wet. Is that caused by a bug, a fungus, a virus? What is that? All right, 940, just drizzling. Picking up a little bit, not too bad. Another super resilient tree that refused to die when it was pushed and knocked over. So, body observations. It's uh, 10 o'clock. The day after our marathon and my feet feel like any other day my knees feel fantastic my calves were nice and bouncy I have plenty of energy and we've already eh, we're averaging our average two miles two and a half miles an hour somewhere in there because no matter what, I still stop to pee a lot. Hopefully we'll get this all figured out. Because after 26 miles and half the day being completely drenched. Ooh, that's pretty. I uh, have decided that tight yoga shorts are not for me. I need something looser, especially in the wetness and the rain. Oh yeah, so 
yesterday. I didn't really walk that funny, nor did I walk that funny this morning. So that's a good thing. And the soreness in my right knee was soreness. Definitely not pain. But it did take till 4 a.m. for that to go away. Most of the time, when I'm nourishing myself right, most discomforts and soreness go away within the first hour. So, it took several hours. But then again, I did hike nine miles more than I've ever hiked. So, woohoo! campsite. Look at that view. That's such a gorgeous view. I'm sure it is. Back down the trail. Okay, since being out on trail, my kneecap has not really been visible. It's not great right now, but it's better than it's been since I got on trail. I've always had this crazy puffiness just from the constant abuse and I thought for sure today would be inflamed and I got no inflammation even though I did eat some bad stuff I think just because of doing 26 and a half miles I burned that shit right off that's where we came from walking along you got to cut out for power lines that's where we're going wow everything's dead yeah probably But it still looks cool. And look at all this new growth. Wow. You could actually see homes. So another day in the AT where the weatherman called for 100% participation, precipitation. Um, yeah, we're okay. A lot of people hunkered down in the tents or stay where they were, but we had a hotel to get to today. That's a steep, steep hill. What is that plant? It seems spread out. It's new that I've seen. It's almost 11 o'clock, less than two miles to go. I guess we're gonna stop by Brushy Mountain Outpost. It's the intersection where we're getting picked up at. So we'll stop and see what they got. Now that looks cool the fog and the mist on the trail. He's gone 6.4. I'm out here to this service road. Make a left. Now we're on a road walk down to the outfitter and our last half mile into town. or to the outfitter, and then we get a ride in. We just finished for the day. We did seven miles. or 6.9. Six, 6.9 6 .9 miles. <laughs> and it's 11.25. So it only took us, what, three hours? Yeah. Nice. Woohoo.